In this video, I want you to understand why it is extremely important for us to understand this concept of generative AI and chat GPT, for example. And we also need to realize that if we don't understand these things now, there is a high chance that our jobs will get impacted. And if we understand them better, then there is a high chance that we will ride this wave and make the best out of it. So rather than getting scared of losing a job to a tool like chat GPT, we will actually partner with chat GPT or make it our friend and use that as a skill because I have already seen job descriptions which are mentioning chat GPT as one of the skills or you know understanding or knowledge of GPT-3 or GPT-4 models. So the world is changing and the world is changing fast. So please stay with me for the next three to four minutes and let me start with a very generic example. This is a remote control and if somebody tells you okay can you pass me that remote control how does your mind work? Your mind works that okay this object is a remote control because you have seen so many remote controls in the past. Either you have used them or you have seen pictures of them so that your mind is already trained that this particular object is called a remote control. Now in a similar fashion, artificial intelligence is also trained on data. So there is immense set of data which is given as an input to an artificial intelligence system or a model and the system understands that okay this is a horse or this is a remote control or this is a human being etc etc. Now what is happening in generative AI is that generative AI has the capability to not just get trained on the data but it also has the ability to generate images or generate text for example. So if generative AI is given pictures of let's say horses or tigers as an input and it is trained on it then generative AI has the capability to create a picture of a horse or create a picture of a tiger basis the information or basis the pictures that it is trained on. So it can generate a altogether new picture, a brand new picture of a horse or a brand new picture for example of a tiger which actually does not even exist in real. Yes, I mean it. So for example, if we give generative AI inputs of human beings, you know, pictures of human beings. So if you input thousands and millions of pictures of human beings into that database, generative AI has the ability to generate a new picture of a human being who does not even exist. So those were some examples of images. What generative AI can do with respect to text is if it is trained on a lot of data which is text then it can generate articles, it can write blogs for you, it can write resumes, it can write so many other things which are related to text provided it is trained on that kind of data. So that is the power of generative AI. So chat GPT or mid journey are just examples of what is possible with respect to generation of images or with respect to generation of text. Now let us understand how we can benefit from this. So to start with, if you are really specialized in artificial intelligence, if you have really cream knowledge, then you can actually become part of the research gang. So who is doing all of this? There are some companies or universities who are doing research for many years. So that is the starting point. If you are really deep into it from the technology angle or from a mathematics angle, etc, etc, then you can actually become a part of such universities or research teams or part of such companies like OpenAI or Google and that can be your job to build such AI models. So that is like the first cream level job. Now when these AI models are built, there are of course companies or businesses who want to use these AI models for their own business. And there are so many use cases of GPT-4 model being used by different companies. So if you are working for one of these companies, you may have a job of an AI specialist or a machine learning language specialist who can actually help to integrate a particular model for the company's business need. So that can be the second type of job. Another example is there are so many companies these days creating chatbots who have GPT models integrated inside them. So there are software engineers or technical people needed who can actually do these kind of integrations. Going one step down are the users. So now if you have used chat GPT to write code or if you have used chat GPT to write blogs or articles then you are at the user level. You are actually logging into the interface of chat GPT and then posting certain questions or getting the work done. So you are actually at the user level. At that level also there are requirements for people who are expert in writing the right prompts. So there is something called as prompt engineering where you need experts who know how to write questions or how to interact with a 
tool like chat GPT to get the right kind of response that we need. So those people are called prompt engineers. So there are some openings for prompt engineers as well. So let's say if you are a copywriter or a blog writer or into content creation, then you may feel that, hey, if somebody is using this tool to generate content, then my job may be at stake. So you are right. If you don't know how to use chat GPT, then yes, your job is at stake. But if you know how to use chat GPT, then chat GPT or tools like chat GPT can become your friend and you can actually write very good copies or you can write very good articles or blogs, etc, etc. So you can actually partner with that tool to create content. And so rather than getting scared, you can actually use it to your benefit. So overall, my suggestion for you is to go deep into understanding how these AI models are built, how they function, who is actually creating or funding these things, what are some of the use cases which are already getting used in the industry and how your company or your customers are probably going to use it in future. If you are able to think at that level, you will be able to understand what can be your role and how you can contribute. So not having any understanding of generative AI is not a good thing in today's age. It is very important for you to understand whether you are into testing or business analysis or into core development doesn't matter. You need to be very much aware of these technological changes happening around you because one fine day your job description will have one more mention of these skills and you can't wait for that to happen you need to be ahead of the curve so you need to learn these technologies as soon as possible all right i hope this made sense to you if it did please share it in your network subscribe to the channel if you've not done it already let me know if you have any questions in comments i'll see you in another video very soon take care bye for now